Welcome. In front of me is a TCL20 Pro and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this device. So when you boot it up for the first time, you will be presented with this screen right over here. So all you need to do is start off by selecting your language and then choosing start. Then here you can insert a SIM card or you can skip this if you don't want to. On the next page you have the option to connect to Wi-Fi. Again, option, so you can skip it if you don't want to connect to or maybe you can't. Next page we have date and time, so you can fix it up if it's incorrect, if it is disregarded. Um, as you can see it is set to be automatically set, so once you connect to a Wi-Fi or mobile network it will be fixed up automatically, but if you want to do it yourself you are free to do so, you just disable this toggle. And next page we have Google services, so we have location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic and data. So you can read exactly what each one of them does by tapping on an arrow and expanding it. And at the end of the day, if you don't like it, you can disable it to the next page or scroll down and then to the next page, which brings you to protecting your phone. Now by default, it automatically goes into uh, asking you to unroll a fingerprint, which once you select it, it will ask you uh, to set up pin pattern or password because you cannot have just a fingerprint. You need to have also some kind of screen lock. So choose whichever one you want. Uh, alternatively, if you only want a screen lock but no fingerprint, uh, you can just go through this the same way. As an example, select one of those, confirm it, and at this moment we now have a pattern. So what I could do is just go back and select skip, which will now skip the fingerprint but will keep the pattern that I have set. Now next thing it wants or asks us to enroll is a face ID so we can unlock your phone either with a fingerprint, uh, pin, pattern, password, and also as an option as a face unlock. But again, I'm gonna skip this and continue setting it up. So here we have choose your dominant hand, minus right, which basically selects where the back button is. I have a next vision, so their improvement for images. As you can see, there is the difference kind of swipes back and forth, so this is with it on, this is with it off. And all it really does is brings up brightness a little bit higher, add saturation, just to make the photos and video content look a little bit more pleasing. So you can keep it on if you want it. If you don't want it, then disable it. Then we have home screen style. So you have choice uh, either between the uh, home screen with an app drawer, like a typical Android, or below that we have the uh, more of a iPhone kind of feel with all the applications smack in the middle of your home screen. So select which one you want. I'm sticking with the default one. We have um, a lock screen. So we have two different choices. We have the TCL default one, and then we have the actual like default Android lock screen. So this is just kind of how it looks like how it displays a clock and the notifications on it. And once you choose that, you can see this basically finishes up the setup or well, before it does it needs to still give us a TCL terms of service so Angeli all goodness let's agree to them uh, and then I use our experience program so you can skip that if you don't want it and there we go we are now on the home screen with the device fully set up so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching